like when you do this and you're looking through the scope, you can't see the movement, which is why I have to capture three hours and then speed it up so that you can see the movement. But this was shot on the same day. See the cloud in the upper right, that prominence? That's what you were just looking at animated. Here's the crazy thing. Look at all that surface detail. All those little white lines are actually prominences, just like the flame on top, except you're looking at it downward against the face. The, the night, the middle of the night that I shot that last still you just saw, people in Rhode Island saw the Aurora Borealis, which is typically attributed to sun's motion. Here's a blackout shot that I took, but I also took the surface shot. See all the little spiky things at the very edge, the limb of the moon? Those are called spicules, and their average lifespan is eight minutes. So that gives you a sense of how much I've had to speed this up so that you can see the motion. This is a sunspot, believe it or not, that I processed in a way that allows you to see the 3D nature of it. But getting back to the still image that Rose put up, this is from, what is it, 821 there? I can't barely see. Uh, 82124. So what you're looking at here is an inverted image. Now you see the sunspots that are white. If you see them and they're not black, you know the image has been inverted. That's fine. It's done all the time. And the reason it's done is because it brings up the 3D nature of what you're looking at. And it's more interesting than an uninverted, almost every time, than an uninverted image. Those little white squiggles over the face of the sun are the prominences. Look at the lower left. See those flame looking things? Those are prominences. All those little white squiggles are prominences too. It's just you're seeing them at a dead downward angle. So they're called filaments. I don't know why they don't just call them you know, face prominences or something, but it's the same thing. So whenever you see a solar image where the sunspots or the filaments are white, you know instantly it's been inverted. Okay, so this was shot the other day and it was so interesting looking at a live because there was like this hovering cloud, which you see here. The prominence looked like a hovering cloud with all these like octopus legs going down. When I got it into production, I couldn't see as well as I could when it was in black and white on the scope. So I did everything I could, but it was it's so interesting to watch because there's this energy plasma cloud, I assume plasma, floating there and just this nonstop of energy arcing down that looks like tentacles. Uh, the cool thing about this is see the spicules on the edge of the limb of the moon? You can kind of see that even with below average seeing, I'm killing it for quality. You can see all the surface detail there. So the point I'm trying to make is if this would have been above average, this would have been spectacular. That the sun's energy is contributing to the aurora. I haven't looked into it that deeply, but that's not hard for me to consider as possible. But look at all the little filaments and everything else on the face and the activity. So there's prominences from basically 11 o'clock all the way down to the right. See that tower down below three o'clock at around four o'clock, there's a tower. Mm -hmm. I chose to film the top, that cloudy thing up at the top right instead of that tower, unfortunately. And in the hour I had, that tower completely disappeared. So it might have been the better target so here you can see that the sunspots are black and that area around it where all that energy is, is white. But look at the lower right sunspot first. Do you see that little squiggly white? Those are these energy tentacles going around the corner and down in. And I'm trying to get good footage of it, but they like sparkle and flash at the ends down in that hole. Now look at the upper left sunspot. There's what, a, it's called a light bridge. That little filament going across the sunspot is referred to as a light bridge. And we'll, we'll have more images as we go along. I think I have one that shows this blown up, but it's really quite incredible. And as you can see, the upper left pair of sunspots, um, actually it's four sunspots, uh, are surrounded by white, which is a bunch of energy. This one's from 8.30, so the second to the last day of last month, and all the way around the sun is energy dispersion. 
And this, I assume, is what's driving the Aurora so far south. 